Welcome. Welcome. This is a class for self-connection. My name is Elena Brower. I'm really honored to be here with you and share a few of my favorite ways to practice with the oils. The concept of self-connection is very important at this time in our very fraught world to spend just a few moments connecting with yourself so that you can be fortified enough to stand steadily for your community, for your family, for the causes in which you believe. Uh, this is very important right now, so we'll get right to it. Um, we'll start with digestion because energetic and physiological digestion are it's such a premium right now somehow. It's very hard to process the influx of information we are now getting in two full days. We are transmitting more information than was transmitted from the dawning of time until the year 2000. In two days, I'll say it again, we are transmitting and sharing more information digitally than has been shared from the dawning of time to the year 2000. That is very significant. And so digestion, I feel, is very important. Um, I find cardamom and ginger to be extraordinarily helpful. Just yesterday, uh, Jonah got a sort of stomach bug. It was very intense, uh, intense vomiting. And um, I had him sniffing the ginger just under his nose. This is what I used post-op when I had a surgery on my jaw. And I would invite you just to smell this for a couple of moments, really big, full breaths. And welcome the ginger into your body. Welcome it all the way down into the cells of your belly. Last one. Mm. I love also switching nostrils with ginger. Um, cardamom. I'm going to put this on my index finger and I'm going to place it on pericardium six. So this is in your inner wrist, about three finger widths from your wrist crease. Hope you can see that. There we go. Yeah. So three finger widths from your wrist crease right about there. And you can feel between the two tendons where you are. Just take a couple of moments with a light touch there. You can close your eyes a few breaths. Allowing the energy to move, allowing blood to move, allowing your mind to relax. And feeling any undigested information, grief, pain of any kind moving through your system now being digested so that your body can assimilate the value of it and release what is no longer needed good i find myself when i have a short period of time I do that on my left hand because the pericardium is that envelope that holds the heart. And so the heart coming through the left arm. Okay, that was my left arm. Um, let's move on. Again, I like to keep these classes short. So we're gonna move right, right along. Uh, focus. Feels very elusive for so many reasons. Um, I find bergamot, and I'm using now our new uh, super mint. And super mint is a blend of, um, I always like to read it, so I'm giving you accurate uh, information. It's peppermint, Japanese mint, right, bergamot mint, and spearmint. Okay. This is a great way to move energy. This was very important yesterday when I was cleaning up after Jonah was ill. Um, bergamot for me, we're going to take a little dab of bergamot on your index finger, just like that, right at the top of the reducer cap. You can rub it together if you like, and also rub it together with your other index. Something I learned a long time ago, the ear shen men, right in here, 
okay? Just right there on the inner ear. Yeah. Find where you feel like, okay, that's the spot. And then gently relax your touch, your eyes, and breathe deeply. Calming the spirit so that you can focus on the matter at hand. Allowing the systems in your physical body to rest gently for a few moments. Maybe smile. Two more breaths here. Rubbing like bergamot and cardamom together as you finish that second breath, bring your hands to prayer right under your nose. And you can bring the bergamot with the cardamom into your lungs, into your limbic brain. Wonderful. Uh, in our email, I spoke about focus. Uh, and using bergamot and supermint in the diffuser. This one, as I said yesterday, I used it for cleaning. To inhale, just inhale it and allow it to be brought into your belly the same way we did the ginger earlier, one nostril and then the other. It's such a gift. But also to put this in the diffuser with almost any wood is so soothing. When I need focus sort of mid afternoon, I'll just do this. Or I'll reach for the roller, which has been really nice. And I'll just sort of roll it on my, show you how to do it, inner arm down all the way to the thumb rub it in and do it on the other side as well. And then I have this bright minty space. And as I type or work or paint, I'm smelling that from my own body. Wonderful for focus. And finally, Spanish Sage, I'm just giving you a little bit uh, of a preview here. I'd like to um, bring up the Spanish Sage on my screen and share it with you. It's such a wonderful product and oil. Here we go. I just want you to see this. So salvia lavandulifolia supports a calm mind and a sense of alertness. Um, and that is when taken internally. And you can just put a little drop under your tongue like, like this, you know, sage, you cook with sage like this. I rub my fingers together and just touch it under my tongue. And as you inhale, inhale with your mouth closed and exhale with your mouth open. You can do that with the mint too. Just one touch under your tongue. Provides an uplifting, soothing aroma. I love diffusing Spanish sage and bergamot. Uh, promotes a positive atmosphere that may be conducive to focus and concentration. And also helps create an environment that's supportive of memory and cognitive performance when diffused. I personally have used this to clear energy as well. Every now and again, something strange happens. I will put the sage on my hands with a little bit of carrier oil and then sweep my energy clear. I hope that's helpful to you. Again, that will be available uh, broadly and fully in April. Let's go to sleep, shall we? Um, I want to also introduce you to this wonderful book. Uh, emotion, acupressure for emotional healing. It's very good. Um, one of our teammates is a gal by the name of Angela Chambers, who's a licensed acupuncturist, been studying Chinese medicine for two decades. She also has a course called The Art of Acupressure that is wonderful. Um, I like to have a book in my hand, so I'm using this for us for today. Um, and we'll go into the insomnia section. Just go right to it, shall we? A few great points for us, but I'm going to use P6, which we already know about, and I'm also going to use H7, 
And that point is just below the little finger on the outer wrist, okay? Now, for sleep, those two are wonderful. I take at nighttime balance with a little frankincense, shiny label now, sorry, it's hard to see, and lavender. These are my three, balance, frankincense, and lavender. I'll open up the balance. I'll put a bunch of drops. I go to like five to 10 drops into my hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I'll put one drop of either frank or lavender, or both. Sometimes if I'm feeling frisky, that was two. I'll rub my hands together, and I'll do a full foot massage on both feet. Lots of coverage. And remember that if you're new, Franken's uh, balance is already diluted. It's one of the few oils that's already diluted. Rub my hands together, take a big breath in. Now the soles of my feet with all those many thousands, millions of capillaries and my nostrils and palms are getting bathed by these very quieting, calming compounds trees. Wonderful. For insomnia, you can take your balance there. You know, leave it right next to your bed. If you wake up in the middle of the night, the Reiki isn't working. The thinking isn't working. Give yourself a little pericardium six with some balance on it. You can even do both sides. Give yourself a little moment with H7. Just resting on your back. Sometimes I'm too lazy and I just do it without the oils. These are wonderful, wonderful points to bring you back to a state of rest. Some of the other options to do slow, deep breathing as you hold these points, to really focus on how you're addressing yourself, how human of you to uh, feel this way right now to feel afraid that you can't fall back asleep very human of you remind yourself offer yourself empathy create a relationship a connection with yourself that actually is supportive like in the moment supportive you're not just writing about it you're not just thinking about it you are in the moment supportive of yourself i woke up in the middle of the night last night the kid was on the road heading out of town and um, it was hard to sleep. And I just was very supportive of myself. And eventually I did fall back asleep. I didn't move. I just did my P6 and H7. And I did a couple of hands, a couple of Reiki hands on heart and solar plexus. And of course, once you have the oils on your hands, it's so nice to smell them as you place your hands. There's truly nothing better than your own touch with the oils, such a gift. Um, and from sleep, I would like to talk a little bit about skin rebalancing. Hmm. That must be a package, I'm gonna leave that there. Sleep, uh, sorry, from sleep is skin rebalancing and this is probably the most important um, note that I have for your skin as we get older geranium has compounds in it that I feel resurface our skin I am so impressed with this oil I've been using it for 20 years doTERRA's since they began at 15 years ago Yarrow palm, which I have transferred into a smaller bottle because I travel and I don't like to carry that big, big bottle. So I put it into this smaller uh, 15 ml bottle. It's the same size as this, yep, with a dropper top. And I wash and moisturize like this. Watch, this is yarrow palm, about a quarter size into your hand. I hope your hands are clean. One drop of geranium. Now, of course, in my cabinet, I also have ylang ylang, helichrysum, um, lavender, Roman chamomile, immortelle, 
some manuka that I managed to get my hands on from someone in Australia. Um, frankincense. Magnolia, jasmine, rose. Those all live and they all are interchangeable. But if you're trying to re oh black spruce as well. But if you're trying to um, bring back sort of a glow to your skin, aside from hydrating and really eating well, this little blend is wonderful. And again, I've taught this before, but I'm going to say it again. This is how I wash and moisturize. So to wash your face, my hands are very clean. You go ahead and you bring your hands all over and cover your face with that combination, okay? I'm just going to leave it there for now. It's so dry here, and I'm so happy to have that emolliency on my face. But if you want to wash your face like this, and you say, oh my God, no, I can't wash my face with oil. I promise you, your skin is just begging to be rebalanced. And this brings that balance back. You'll take a washcloth that is hot and clean, with hot water, squeeze it out, and then very gently, and always in upward strokes, wash your face with that washcloth, okay? And the oil comes off to some extent. Like mine is still obviously very much on. Um, but there's uh, some of it is left. And what you'll find is even in the case of acne, uh, any sort of redness, it completely removes the any sort of uh, dirt and begins to soothe dryness, redness, and any irritation at all. So I use a couple of other um, oils as well. Like I mentioned, the rose, the ylang ylang, depends on the day. But if I really want to be feeling like I'm resurfaced, geranium is my jam. That is pretty much what I wanted to share today. That was 20 minutes. I'm so happy that I got to share all of that with you. I would like to go on to one more thing uh, in the acupressure book. Maybe two. Emotional numbness. I would recommend Spanish sage or rosemary or cardamom. So let's go with the cardamom since we have it here. And I'll show you where to be for that. I'm wearing a little tank top underneath so I can show you exactly where. Right here on either side of your navel. Placing your little cardamom fingers and taking about five full breaths here. There are several points around the navel that are really nice for this, but I love this on either side of my navel. And then even taking your little index finger and circling your navel for a few moments in the direction of digestion, of course. Up on the right, crossed down on the left. And allowing yourself to feel that one more full breath here. And then again, I'm obsessed with this cardamom business. Bring your hands to prayer right underneath your nose. Inhale. And exhale. And just feeling whatever it is that desperately needs to change or move. Transforming. Use your hands. Some real talk for just a moment uh, before we close. 
I want to thank you if you have made a donation to Girls on Fire leaders in exchange for this information. It is a great privilege that I've known Eileen, uh, the founder, since she started. The work that she has done is absolutely extraordinary. Entire communities have rallied around her desire to help the youngest girls be served and seen, to help them become the leaders that they are meant to be. We have girls now in college, stateside. We have girls that I get to talk to and mentor personally. We have teachers, supporters, all kinds of um, shifts, changes that have happened in almost a decade of working with them. Your donation means a great deal. So thank you for that. The girls are also well tuned into the oils as well. We get them as much as they can, as we can. Um, I also want to acknowledge the fact that that last point, um, the emotional numbness point, I want to just acknowledge if you are experiencing that at any point recently, you are definitely not alone. Uh, all of us, to some extent, are facing the realities of the situations and having to be very present for them. And every practice that we do with the plants, with ourselves, to connect to ourselves, as I said at the beginning, helps us to be fortified to face the realities as they present themselves. These are not easy realities right now. I would also like to say that for me, my affiliation with and work with doTERRA has been perhaps the most uplifting work of my life. I have been a student all this time. I have now steeped myself in the studies of Zen. That means a great deal to me. That has helped me to build and steady my mind. But to be able to have these beautiful essences so near every day is such a gift. To be able to get them at these uh, very accessible um, prices is such a gift. And to be able to teach their value the scientific value of the compounds as well as the energetic value of the compounds is one of the greatest gifts I've received in my life. Any questions, I would like to take them in the chat or in the Q&A. Please feel free to go to the bottom of your screen, click chat or Q&A. And if you are clicking chat, click everyone and I will make the chat now available to all of us. Any questions, observations, or requests? Okay, wonderful. Very wonderful indeed. Which yarrow palm are you using? So that's the skin yarrow palm. The only yarrow palm that we've got right now, the body serum has been discontinued for uh, lack of one of the ingredients, I believe, maybe two. Uh, anxiety in kids, Stacy, I would do bergamot on that ear shen men point that we did. They will love it. I used to wake Jonah up in the morning in New York. Um, I would put this bergamot right under his nose like this, and I would say, Come And across his little face would come this big giant smile. Oh, it was just so nice. Bergamot is a nervine. It's adaptogenic. So if you need energy, it gives you energy. And if you need calming, it gives you calming. It's wonderful for children. Of course, the kids collection is great. And, um, you know, there are a couple of oils in there that I would recommend, including Tamer, which is the digestive blend. But when kids have anxiety, I find rolling Tamer on their bellies to be very helpful too. Um, thank you, Angie, for being here. Wonderful. Uh, unbalanced, hoping to bring lots of balance to my home. I would always recommend um, just having balance very close by. I have it always on my desk. 
it's diluted so I can rub it into my hands, it moisturizes. I can put a little bit on my lips, I don't care. I can put it on my feet, I can rub it on my arms. It's so nice to have balance around. So thank you for that question, that's a really good one. Um, and you've got trees and florals in there, Angie. So acupressure for emotional healing is by Michael Reed Gach, PhD. Maybe it's Gatch, <laughs> but I'm going with Gach. Okay, wonderful book. I've had it for years, well over a decade. Um, Sophia, thank you so much. Gracias. And immunity daily. I'm diffusing the rosemary, frankincense, and eucalyptus. The eucalyptus has, and I believe rosemary does too, has a high concentration of 1,8 cineol. I'm going to put this in the chat so you can see it. 1,8 1, cineol. Very, very good for um, I'll make sure I'm compliant here. Very good when your respiratory system needs support, your immune system needs support. On Guard is another blend that I would always recommend for immunity. And you can make a little routine at night out of uh, moisturizing their feet, kids or adults, and putting one drop of On Guard on. Um, also in the kids collection, there is a red oil called Stronger, a blend that is a roller that is wonderful for younger kids. Um, how many drops of each for which, uh, which aspect, Siobhan? I'm just not sure which. Ah, okay, the, the um, immune. So I would do, in the diffuser, I would do three of everything. Three rosemary, three frank, three eucalyptus. If you're feeling like really compromised, add in some Spanish sage. That's also great too. Uh, your on guard is great to add in as well. Cinnamon, uh, clove, wonderful also. Okay. Immunity, say it again, eucalyptus, rosemary, frankincense. And then add anything else that you're inspired to add. This is uh, a real honor to share this with you. I love coming in here for a very short period of time and sharing this information with you. It has mean, meant everything to myself and my family to have these oils nearby. And I thank you for listening. Thank you so much. If you have any further questions, feel free to email me, info at elenabrower.com. Or you can go through the contact form on my website. Uh, if you would like to try 30 days of oils, if you haven't yet, elenabrower.com forward slash three zero days. That's 30 days of the oils I use the most and how in short videos, two, three minutes each. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. And thank you for your donation once again.